One gift. Early. What is it? That is a direct hotline to Santa Claus himself. I can talk to Santa? All right, revelers. Welcome to your worst Christmas ever. Let's go! Well, a bit of a different spin on a holiday movie. Violent Night is in theaters today. It's not the typical family offering that usually hits theaters this time of year. And that brings us, of course, to Eli Glasner. He joins us every week at this time to talk about the latest from Hollywood. So, Eli, uh, okay, this is definitely not a Hallmark movie <laughs> at all. Not in that category. Firmly not in that category <laughs> at all. Uh, so where do we start with this one? Where well, does it Hillary, start? Hillary, this is the way that Hollywood works now. If you're making a film that isn't like a sequel or a franchise, you need what we call high concept. And what is higher or lower than basically Die Hard meets Santa Claus? We begin in a bar in the UK where we see not so jolly old Saint Nick, David Harbour. You know him, you love him as the sheriff from Stranger Things, but here he is with the red suit, the beard, the whole get up. Now he's not looking to give gifts. He is frankly looking to be thoroughly soused. Santa ain't feeling the Christmas spirit this time around. Kids these days, he says, all they want are video games. They're greedy, present loving junkies. Take a look as another Santa saddles up to the bar. Bitter pint. You just get off? I'm taking a break between shifts, I guess you could say. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the reindeer do most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. That lush is the real Santa, the original model. Meanwhile, in Connecticut, Jason and Linda and their daughter are coming to dinner. Dinner at the Lightstones, an incredibly wealthy and incredibly dysfunctional family. To make matters worse, Trudy's parents appear to be on the edge of divorce. But before she can wish for a Christmas miracle, the estate... <gasps> is invaded by mercenaries. John Leguizamo leading a band of thugs who intend to crack open the family vault. They have Christmas code names like Frosty, but there's no Yuletide joy here. Now there is that same Santa, a Santa who has now traded the uh, milk and cookies for whiskey. He's hitting the hard stuff, but he happens to be in this mansion when the bad guys arrive and when Santa meets one of the thugs who is very much on his naughty list, things get a little messy and that gets the leader's attention. Take a look. Well, for tonight, I'm Mr. Scrooge now. What is it that you want exactly, Santa? I want you to put down your weapons. I want you to let this family go. And then I want to find my reindeer and I want to continue delivering my presents. All right, who the hell are you really, huh? Some security guard who's watched too many action flicks. So there you go. I mean, you can tell that this film doesn't exist in a vacuum. There's a little meta layer. Like, it it knows what Die Hard is. It knows what Home Alone is, which adds a, another layer of frosting to this holiday madness. Holiday madness. Oh, my gosh. Okay, a lot going on there. You also describe this as, as high concept. So does the concept work? I mean, I, I think it does what it promises. If you've seen the trailer, if you've seen the poster with Santa and his bloody beard, I think you know what you're in for. But if not, I am going to give you now a litmus test of the merry mayhem. So here's a scene with Trudy, who happens to have that convenient walkie-talkie to chat with Santa as she's hiding from the hostage takers. Let's watch. I know it's Trudy like so. Are you going to help us, Santa? Yeah, Trudy. Santa? You're on my nice list. Santa Claus is coming to town. Time for some season's beatings. Naughty. So, you know, there you go. If the uh, sound of Santa swinging a sledgehammer like Thor while yelling naughty, naughty doesn't jingle your bells, then it's probably isn't the film for you. It does, as I said, exactly what advertised. It's called Violent Night. So if you're looking for a variety of creative ways of destroying and dismembering bad guys with a holiday theme, like, oh, look, Christmas lights, 
who knew they had that use, look no further. <laughs> but what stops at Hillary from being too bleak is the magic of David Harbour. I've had the pleasure of interviewing him, and he is a giant teddy bear, but the kind of bear you don't want to cross. There's this physicality to him, but also this sweetness. He can be earnest, which is exactly what you need if you're playing a world-weary Santa. Okay, Eli, and how do we rate this one, especially for people like myself who, you know, are diehard Miracle on 34th Street lovers? Are we going to like this? Are we going to uh, like this movie? If that's where you want your holiday <laughs> movie to, like, really get your, your, you know, your spirits up, you might want to take a little breather from this because, you know, this is a, you know, a, a kind of a romp and a B movie, but also, as you might imagine, very violent. And I will say, like, for 90 minutes, it had me. It's cooking along. There's lots of fun Christmas treats. I thought it was very inventive the way it puts all the characters in the same situation. But to be honest, it's kind of a one joke film and around 90 minutes, it really starts to feel like it's overstaying its welcome, even giving Santa his own tragic sob story. Take a look. Sorry, I think this is it, kid. No, don't say that. Naughty list. It just grows and grows. If you could have anything in this world, what would it be? I wish I could see Mrs. Claus again. Tell her how much I love her. And I wish that part came with a fast forward button. So at its best, this is a fun romp of a spiked eggnog B movie. If it was only 90 minutes, it would be a bloody Christmas classic instead of kind of running in place for the last little while, but still a great reminder of why David Harbour is the gift that keeps on giving three stars out of five. Three stars. Okay, well, I still need to do my annual viewing of Elf, Home Alone. We'll see. Maybe I'll add Violet Knight uh, in there as well. There you go. <laughs> Eli, thank you for this. Eli Glasner, CBC's senior entertainment reporter.